Well, hi there. I'm so glad that you stopped by the video today. We're going to be doing some holiday crafting and we're going to be creating some beautiful vintage looking ornaments, Christmas decor using some thrifted finds, also some store bought things so that way anybody can recreate these. Uh, DIYs and we're going to be using the new IOD 2024 holiday collection release. So let's get started on our first project and by the way I'm Elizabeth if you're new here and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do that now hit the notification bells and let's enjoy this fun crafting session together. Using the Crimson Velvet IOD Transfer Book, we are going to create our own little Christmas inspired nightlights. I love having nightlights around the house during Christmas time just to create that cozy atmosphere. We usually like to invest and get a couple new ones, some specialty Christmas ones, but I thought why don't I use these old world looking candles and transfer them onto these brand new little night lights that I purchased. They were very inexpensive and you get four in a pack. I think these would make such a really cool little stocking stuffer or gift to put in a gift basket for Christmas. Um, just something you can personalize. I mean, you saw just a taste of some of the transfers that are in this holiday collection from IOD. There's just endless possibilities. Transfers are my ultimate favorite thing from IOD because they are so versatile. I put them on everything. I love that it's just an instant graphic that makes something look store-bought. And so let's get these transferred on this was the easiest and the quickest project of them all and by the way i'm going to have everything linked below for you and just an fyi this is a limited release collection so it's not going to last forever so i strongly urge if you see something that you like definitely grab it before it's gone. There's a few more things in this collection that I didn't myself get this time around. There's some amazing molds, there's stamps in this collection, and also paint inlays. So if you also like those things, then definitely check out the shops that I'll link below that carry this collection. I'll also try and put a playlist down of all the other creators that have been making amazing things with this IOD line. Just the creativity is out of this world. The next project I thought that I could use one of these IOD transfers on is this really pretty red, I think it's a Betty Crocker vintage cookbook that my mom had given me. I love that it's red for Christmas, but I think it could use like a little bit of a embellishment on the front. I thought this Good Tidings transfer would be perfect for the front of this book to display during Christmas time in the kitchen or wherever. 
So let's apply that to the book. It's so easy. Anything like a book or anything that has a nice smooth surface, a hard surface, these transfers just glide on like butter and they take no time at all, no effort, hardly at all to get onto there. So we're actually gonna layer the transfers on this one and I'll show you in a minute here how I do that. I loved the foiled gold lettering on the spine of the book and I wanted to kind of bring that over to the front so I grabbed the gilded transfer book and this book is just full of gilded gold transfers. They're so beautiful. So I really wanted to try and find something in here to kind of bring that spine element to the front so that it really looked like it was a part of the book um, all along. So I just went through, found like a pretty kind of organic looking uh, transfer that I could layer on top of the Good Tidings transfer. And this is just a great way to add more of your own creative touch with these transfers. You can go to town layering transfer after transfer and create your own big scene, your own piece of art using all different transfers from all different books, collections, you name it. But I love how this turned out. I think it's gonna look really, really cute in a vintage kitchen for Christmas. You probably have some of these pillar flameless candles around your house and they are the perfect blank canvas to apply a beautiful transfer to to make them holiday appropriate and to make them just a little bit more special. So we're going to use once again the gilded transfer book and find one of these beautiful gold foil designs to place onto these pillar candles. The ones that I have have a waxy film around the outside, so I did struggle a little bit at first trying to figure out how to get the transfer to um, apply cleanly because it was picking up parts of the transfer that I didn't want it to. So I went to a different design and you want to press only on the spots where the actual embellished transfer is and try to avoid the surrounding areas of the foil and that way you'll get a cleaner application so just a tip there if you go ahead and use this transfer book on something but it is so beautiful I mean you get a gilded gold design many different ones to choose from they even have scripture and it's just beautiful you could overlay it onto a piece of artwork or something um, i love this transfer book it's very high end so i'll show you how these beautiful pillar candles turned out and let's continue crafting i hope you're enjoying what we're doing so far we still have the vintage looking ornaments up next i do three different styles tons of them so i love making my own ornaments i do it every year i'll go ahead and link the video that i did last year of all the ornaments that i made for my blue and white french country christmas tree uh, those turned out really fun too I ordered these wooden ornaments online and I will have them linked in the description below. Just push the more hyperlink option underneath the video's title and it opens up all of the video description, all of the links and all that good stuff. So we went ahead and painted them white, did a couple coats of that and now I'm going to add the gold to the top of each ornament. You can use rub and buff, gold, acrylic paint, whatever you have to do this. And then we're going to uh, transfer some more of the IOD Holiday 
designs onto each of these and make our own vintage looking ornaments. This is so easy to do and actually IOD has a mold for ornaments so that you can use um, like a quick, quick set resin or air dry clay or something and actually create your own physical ornament. But I'm a little strapped on time with a four week old baby, two kids. So I just went this route and made a big batch of them and did three different, I guess, style of ornaments using three of the transfer books. So I'm gonna show you the whole process, start to finish on how I created all of these. And then again, we'll show you how they look at the end hanging off of a little Christmas tree. To give these ornaments an even more vintage look and feel, I wanted to glue some of this vintage looking foiled trim, I guess, around the outside of each ornament. I think that this really gave them just that old school kind of vintage look. The next style of ornaments we're going to create are going to be on these solid gold ones. I just painted these with some gold acrylic paint and then we're going to use the Yuletide transfer book from IOD to find some really pretty graphics to put on these. Now this transfer book has more of a nat nature kind of inspired um, graphics to it. But there's Christmas trees, as you can see, there's the little porcupines and the berries and the poinsettias. So I thought those would all look really pretty on this gold background. I also used some of that red foiled trim on some of the ornaments that I thought that looked a little bit nicer with. That way I have two variations between the red and the yellow. And then also on these ornaments, I did seal them with some Mod Podge. I used a gloss because that's what I had, but you know, you could do matte or whatever 
finish you prefer i thought gloss would make them look a little bit more um like ceramic e kind of so i went that route uh, like you would see on a normal um, christmas ornament they're usually a little bit on the shinier side glitter a little glitter on these would be really sweet too and then i also love to finish my ornaments off with some really pretty ribbon to tie around the top instead of a little metal hook and I used some velvet ribbon from Hobby Lobby and then some red ribbon that had like a little gold threaded stitch kind of along either side. I thought that was really cute. So you can do, you know, all different styles of ribbon, which will give them all a totally different look. Just the um, options are endless when it comes to creating your own decor and ornaments and things like that with iod products i highly recommend if you've never tried any of their stuff just grab yourself a transfer book or something and just start having fun with it there's so much you can do with these and i got the kids involved and they loved it too so it was actually quite helpful having them take on some of this work also because it did take me quite a few days to finish this now that i've got my my little newborn that I'm trying to care for and do these projects on the side. It uh, breaks things up quite a bit time-wise that I can focus on things. So I'm so happy that you stopped by to craft with me. I hope that you got a lot of great ideas. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite thing was out of this collection that I created. And let me know if you're going to pick some up for yourself or if you already have. Let me know what you're making and creating. I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much and take care. Mm -hmm.